Hello guys, welcome back. There is a new feature being introduced in Hogging Chat and we are going to go through in that particular thing today, right? So I have created three different videos about Hogging Chat. There was the previous one, what is Hogging Chat? And the next one was Hogging Chat Assistance. And after that, I created this Hogging Chat Assistance, uh, another video, right? So what we are going to do in this particular video is there is a new thing called tools being introduced in the Hogging Chat UI, let's say. So let's go and explore that. Let's get started. Before going into the actual implementation part, this is the discussion where it is in the Hugging Face website. I will provide the link in the description. So this says here, a new features tools in the Hugging Chat. So there is image editing, image generation, PDF parser, URL feature, calculator, and so on, right? So if you go down here, it says tools on Hugging Chat. Today we are excited to announce the beta release of tools in Hugging Chat. Tools open up a wide range of new possibilities, allowing the model to determine when a tool is needed, which tool to use, and what arguments to pass via function calling. You can go here and read all the different things, but you can see here, by default, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different tools being provided. And that is not provided for all the models. I will show you which model provides all of these different tools. And you can see the web source, what does it does? The description is also mentioned here. And this is the host. Uh, most of those, or two of those are Hugging Chat internal tool and uh, three of those. And the calculator is also the Hugging Chat internal tool. And the next one is zero GPU space. You can go through there by clicking this link and it takes you to that particular page. But let's not go into that part now. So yeah, this is how it goes through. You can just go here and read the uh, read the discussion here. But now let's go to the actual implementation. So this is the Hogging Chat website. I'll provide you the link also. This is similar to ChatGPT. If you are new to Hogging Chat, I recommend you to watch my previous videos. Link will be in the description of the video so that you know, okay, what is Hugging Chat and how you can utilize it. Now let's directly go to the point that I'm going to introduce today about the tools that is being introduced, right? By default, when you come to this website, there is some models being being shown here. So current model is here. I am using Meta Llama, Meta Llama 370B Instruct. So you can see here there is already the source web being introduced. So if I go here and sort something, it will be just going here. If I say here, okay, open AI, you can see that okay, open AI is a non-profit organization and so on. And but there is no web links or web sorts being introduced, but it is by default providing the answer for me, right? So this is how it works. I can go here and say stop generation. And if I do this web source, now it is going to do the web source. So this is also one of the tool. When enabled, the model will try to complement its answer with information queried from the web, right? If I go here and again say open AI, now it is going to do the web source. So that is how the function calling or the tools work, right? It is going to use some particular tool that you have used and it provides the answer. This is all the answers. Let's not go into the answers, but you get idea how it works. But you might be thinking, okay, where are the other tools, right? For other tools, there is only one model from where you can choose from. So if I go to maybe go here and say new chat, you can already go to the settings icon here. From here, you need to choose the model called Cohere for AI. If you go into this one, it's, there is the model page link also, model website also, you can go there and see the models. But it says here Cohere R plus is a Cohere's latest LLM and is the first open weight model to beat GPT-4 in the chatbot arena, right? And I can activate this. So it says here this is activated, right? And if I cancel this, you can see now there is the Cohere model being selected. And if you see something has been changed here. Here you can see there is now six tools being implemented. So you can see the web search, URL feature, document parser, image generation, image editing, and calculator. Let's go through that one by one. I already showed you about the web source. That's the same web source things that goes into the website, right? So I will disable this first. Now I will go with the ima image generation first. So I will go here and I will ask, okay, generate the image of uh, dragon. Now you can see that it is going to use that particular tool 
called image generation. So you can see calling the tool image generation and there is the image of the dragon and it provides you uh, the description also here. Now the good part is okay it uh, the, this tools works fine right if you now go to the tools again there is the image editing part this is quite fascinating if you click this one now let's say you want to have color some different color of the dragon so let's say i want to have the purple color i can just go ahead and say can you change the color to purple that's all i need to say it because it it knows the previous prompt or the answer it provides calling the tool image editing so it is using the image editing tool and then now it is going to provide this dragon i haven't provided anything about the dragon right it is going to take the previous answer and now it, it the dragon must be provided in the purple color okay now you can see that it is provided into the purple color so by the way this is all free because in hogging chat there is all the models are being provided for free so now there is the description so this is the two tools now let's go with the third one and also the calculator you don't even need the basic things to do the calculator for example if i say here add a three and five it will do the addition answer is eight it is not using any tools right now if i go here and choose the calculator tools that is how the we we, we use the tools right so now if i again say the same question add three and five now it is going to use the calculator tool so if you see here now it is it yeah it's called tool calculator and the answer is the same but if you provide some complex uh, questions of math it will use the calculator to find the answer i hope that is also clear so now we went through these three different here and the url feature is also quite good let's say that i want to fetch something from some url right let's go to this uh, hugging uh, hugging chart this tools feature and let's say that from this particular url i i want to have the description of this image generation right so what i can ask here is okay can you provide me the description of the image generation title of this url and then i can provide the url i will go here I will copy the URL. I will again go here and paste the URL. So it needs to provide us the answer image generation. So generate image based on a given prompt. So this is the answer that we must get from there, right? Let's go here. Okay, it says here call the URL feature. That's the tool it is going to search. The description for the image generation is generate image based on a given prompt. So that is what we have here generate images based on the given prompt so you can fetch something from the particular url right so this is working just fine so that is all the tools and document parser is the thing where you can upload for example if i uncheck this there is nothing here right if i click this document parser you can see it says upload a file but for some reason this is in the initial beta phase as they mentioned it is not working for this document parser but i can show you how it works right if you click this upload file you can go here and choose okay gpt for all paper pdf and i can go here and ask the question okay what is the paper about but this is not working but just i'm showing you here it will show some error you can see here it says the request failed with status code 413 this has been reported in different places in twitter also i see some of them saying okay this is not working and the response was that okay they are improving into it so maybe when you watch this video sometime it will be also working so yeah there you go we have now different tools which are all free and for me at least the image generation and image, image editing is quite powerful and i think that is what i'm going to use a lot because you can create cool stuffs out of it and also the editing part is just, is just done by your prompt and also before completing the video i recommend you to watch the uh, hogging chat other videos also if you want to know more information because hogging face is providing this awesome tool for us to go and explore and do many things here and also if you are completely new to hugging face i have this almost 33 minutes video created one year before but this is what you can go and have more information about hugging face itself what it is all about so yeah that's all for this video i hope you learned something new 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.